Hello, my name is Paige Kurtzstaffner and I wrote and directed the film Mission Report. I came up with the world and the characters a couple of years ago and was finally able to make them into a film. I want to give a big thank you to both the Event Helper and the Colfax Theatre for all of their help and in providing us a set and all kinds of other stuff. So thank you so much and I hope you all enjoy the film. all three of you alive. It seems Operation Smokescreen was a success. Question? Why was it called that? There wasn't any smoke involved. It doesn't matter. I was running out of ideas. Um, so I know this was your first mission as a team and the two of you were kind of thrown into it without a, a lot of uh, experience with us, but um, I'm really impressed with all of you. Unfortunately, now it's time for the mission report and uh, I need a full recount of the events. Rosemary and I will be taking notes. Magnolia, would you like to start? <laughs> oh boy, yeah. <clears throat> it was a warm, sunny morning. Perfect for some bandit bashing. We stand valiantly outside of the base until Kookaburra gets a signal in his earpiece. He waves us forward, and we make our way carefully into the camp, narrowly avoiding the super bored guards out front. Zephyr charges forward, tackles a bandit, and throws him at his friend. I duck for cover while Kookaburra stands out in the open, ready to take on whatever comes at him. I watch as two bandits come in, then, I jump up and knock the closest one out. You failed to mention that you didn't knock him out on purpose. What? I watched you look up, get scared, and then throw something at the guy while covering your eyes. I didn't want to get something in my eyes, Zephyr. <laughs> Could please, you're getting off track. I can hear my noise, you're getting off track. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then... Kookaburra and the other bandit lock eyes, hands over their gun holsters. They stand for a few minutes before Kookaburra draws first. Bang! He hits the bandit in the arm. Then I move into the next room. Zephyr goes in first again, followed by Kookaburra. I cover the rear. Zephyr and Kookaburra engage with a couple of bandits and I watch as another one comes up behind Zephyr, and I swoop in and neutralize the threat with a quick strike. A quick strike? Magnolia, you tripped over your own foot and fell into the guy. Yeah. Co Zephyr moved out of the way just in time, and the guy hit his head on the floor. I... Yeah, at least I got the guy, right? Sure. He could have hurt Zephyr. Yes, true. I... Saved him! Indeed, after tripping over your own foot. Okay, okay. Kookaburra, would you like to continue the report? Of course, thank you, Alphabet. After Zephyr and I take out the two thugs, I help the Magnolia up. We stand there together, scanning our surroundings. I take a couple steps forward, crouch down, followed by the other two. Two bandits come in, scanning the area. I gesture silently to Magnolia and Zephyr, and before the bandits saw us, we were on top of them. With those two down, I motioned for everyone to go forward. We carefully searched the building, which looked to be an old theater. We knew that. We told you that. Rosemary, don't write that down. Please continue. Right. Well, while we were searching, 
I found some evidence. A candy wrapper! What could this mean, I say? While inspecting the object, it was blank. I pick it up and sniff it. Green apple, of course. I stand up and show the wrapper to Magnolia, who is standing right behind me. She nods. I show Zephyr, and he points at the other wrapper a few feet away. Eventually, we find what seems like a trail of wrappers. We follow it, unaware of what came next. Bang! We hear a gunshot and a yelp as the bullet nearly misses Magnolia's shoulder. We duck for cover. A trap, Zephyr says. That was me. Fine. A trap, Magnolia says. Zephyr sighs. Ah, we should have known, you see. Why else would someone leave a trail of green apple candy wrappers? I, I definitely, I didn't sound like that. Whatever. This isn't some weird old cop show. Nobody sounds like that anymore. Weird old cop show. Are you calling me old? Yes. Ah, Kids these days, do you know they've never had a hamburger? I've never had a hamburger. How old are you? Not as old as you think, apparently. Besides, we're getting off topic. You can reminisce about hamburgers and old cop shows when I don't need to submit a mission report. So can we please get a move on? Fine. We had to find our way out of that position and fast. I peek out from behind cover and spot the thugs. So I decide to create a distraction. I shoot towards them and duck, pew, 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 and motion for Zephyr and Magnolia to go and point to the back door. I shoot at the thugs a couple more times while they crawl to the door. Okay, I think Zeph should take it from here. Good idea. Uh, Rosemary, did you get all that? Okay, good enough. Uh, Zephyr, are you ready to take it from here? Yep. Magnolia and I crawl away from the action. We make it to the door and stand on each side, guns out. We nod and move in. Smash! Bang! Crash! Suddenly, I feel it. I had lost my pack. You dropped your pack? Yeah. Did you get it on the way out? No. That would have been good information. Next time something like that happens, please tell someone. Right. Will do. Anyways. How were Magnolia and I supposed to get the guy if we didn't have our duct tape and handcuffs? We rummaged around the room looking for supplies. Magnolia finds a paper bag in a closet, and I find a pile of rope in the corner. I throw the rope over my shoulder, and Magnolia stuffs the bag into her jacket. We move on quietly to the next room. You were everything but quiet, Zephyr. Shh! You kept sneezing! It was really dusty! Before entering the room, I put away my gun, grab my knife, and listen closely. Sounds like there's not many people in there, I whisper. Magnolia nods, and then moves forwards, kicking open the door, hitting one of the villains, and knocking him out. <laughs> that was pretty awesome, wasn't it? Because I totally meant to do that. It was super cool, man. After that guy was taken out, there was one man left in the room. It's not a man. There was one woman left in the room. I recognized her immediately. Mr. Tony, the woman we need to capture. She picks up a sword and I grab the closest object to me, which, luckily enough, happens to be a long wooden pole and was able to duel with Tony long enough for Bagnoli to sneak around and throw the bag over her head. I disarm her, pull her arms behind her back, and tie up her hands with rope. Magnolia and I pick her up, take her out of the room, down the stairs, through the lobby, and out the door before dropping her on the ground at Kookaburra's feet. Uh, and, and that's where you came in, Alphabet. Yeah. 
I was surprised to find you guys mostly unscathed. Anyways, thank you so much for the mission report, however detailed it may have been. Uh, do you have anything else to add? Fantastic. Um, you guys make a pretty good team somehow. Um, Kookaburra, I'm gonna need you to stick with me since you're the team lead. You two, you're good to go. Have a good night. What a bunch of oafs! I could tell you what really happened if you have the time. <laughs>